A peaceful end to a SWAT situation that shut down a Chattanooga neighborhood this afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Kim Chapman. News Channel 9's Drew Balea has been out near Buckley Street all afternoon. Drew, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Kim, just after 3 p.m., Kenneth Cox, who was barricaded inside of a home at 1310 Buckley Street, gave himself up peacefully to police after several hours in a standoff. Police tell us they're not sure what set him off or why he was making threats towards the police. Neighbors say it isn't the first time that police called to 1310 Buckley Street, and they tell us they heard gunfire last night and even earlier today. Now, police couldn't confirm if that was actually gunshots or firecrackers. Nonetheless, it's really rattled some people around here. I'm really nervous, mm -hmm. and I'm really scared. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've come to the conclusion it doesn't matter where you go. You can't, you can't get away from it. I mean, it's going to be everywhere you go. Now, to police, this street behind me might look familiar. It's 14th Street, and if you take a look down at just two blocks down the road this way, a young man was shot and killed last week, actually laid to rest uh, earlier, uh, either yesterday or today. Uh, so 14th Street has really seen their fair share of police activity in the past week. Live from East Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. Back to you guys. Uh, Drew, thank you very much. And we should tell you that Crew is charged with Cox rather is charged with aggravated assault, and we'll go and under an evaluation.